seductive, sensual, warm, the coziest blanket you put around you. We are by a fire being cuddled by our beloved. This is some of the smell that Led Zeppelin smelled when composing the song Denied in Wayne's World. All of this ahead, it's Mona Dior's debut on Therapeutic Fragrance with Vini Le Nombres Dior on Brandon Therapeutic Fragrance. Glad that you're here. Subscribe if you haven't. Stay tuned. Men who love vanilla will put this at a 50-50 unisex all the way. If you think vanilla is sweet and you're turned off by it, definitely 70 feminine, 30 uh, masculine. $200, 75 ml, not a bad price. Notes include Brazilian orange, Indonesian cloves, pentagrain, rum extract, bourbon, vetiver, ylang ylang, Indian sandalwood, guyac wood, vanilla absolute for Madagascar, amber, and ton tonka bean. Vanilla mixed with buttery wafts of caramel, barely browned in a fume of santal. Off the top of this one, creamed orange and soft spice pedigrain, a droplet of liqu uh, liqueured vetiver, and we are off to Never Never Land. If there was a napping or tuck me in fragrance, this is it. This is what I want to smell when it's sleepy time. Just cuddled up, snuggled up, whatever, just makes you feel all warm, cozy inside that kind of fragrance. The heart brings out even more warmth as a smoky tone sets in on the wearing off my skin and the fragrance sweetens. Um, what a brilliant combo. So uh, the fragrance gets denser and sweeter as it transitions in and smokier and um, aromatic that way and bright, not bright, but smokier and poofy, whatever smoke does but over the top, it's just that they both transition at the same time. Just brilliant perfumery, really good uh, tricks by the perfumer uh, building that in there. Uh, dry down continues into a dense, rich vanilla and amber on a layer of wood, the Gayak wood. It's where that smoky came from. If you're used to the, the smoky nuances Gayak gives. Also very good. The, the final dry down, um, way too vanillic for me. Um, with these Mona Dioras, because they are high in naturals, the vanilla on the top is beautiful, nappable. Everything I talked about, just awesome. It's, it's Madagascar vanilla. Um, even right here and right here. And from, from the bottle, this stuff's awesome. Um, I want to say that there is a good dose of, and the citrus is on top from here. You get, you get But it, it does not last that long on my skin on the top, the, the creamed orange, right at first before it gets creamy, it, it's it's a zesty orange, but it turns to creamy. That being said, let's get back to the vanilla, the dry down, final dry down. I think there's vanilla in this or a synthetic vanilla in this. It just stays sticky, cline, like lunfaline, not as strong as that. I believe there's really natural vanilla and good natural. I think they use the combo of both. Um, I put natural on here and I put this on here. I also did it with one of our other perfumes coming up. Um, some of the guys that I message privately, you know which one I'm talking about. So the vanilla on here, and this is raw, no no, perf no alcohol, no dilution or nothing, pure Madagascar vanilla. And it just dries down beautifully with the heat of your skin, many nuances, the dry down on here. As soon as you get to the dry down, three, four hours, it's just linear i mean it heartbeat heart heartbeat heartbeat as soon as that vanilla fades the real vanilla in here with with the alcohol so it's diluted um it's awesome but then it just flatlines and becomes very linear so that that's where i'm at i personally i don't want a six hour fragrance if this vanilla or synthetics can be left on my skin i don't i don't want it i know you have reviewers I know you have people that, that want to smell that all day. If they really knew what they're smelling, I don't think they'd want to. A three-hour natural, high in natural fragrance is okay. It's okay to do. I wish it burned off and did not leave me with that. This would easily be a 90 and above fragrance, vanilla fragrance for me if it was. I believe there's a lot of people who love vanilla will put this in their top 10 list. But I, I, I the dry down... It is what it is. I tested it. I reviewed it. I got to call them out on it. There's, there's no point. Yes, all the raw ingredients are there. Just 
I get what you're doing. You want the longevity. You want a little more projection of, of that popular vanilla note we like, but one, one, it just becomes as anemic. I mean, it just becomes, I get nauseated with just, I can tell it's not real. And it's just this flat line scent I want to be done with. And covered it in loon flame. And here, th that's why I reviewed this is because somebody's like, oh, you got to smell this. This is the vanilla smell. That's true. The first three hours of this, out of this world review. That's why I reviewed it really good there. But want to want to get the caveat. Want to the full testing I did, the science behind it I did, uh, or the test, you know, to let you guys know that it's it's. I'm just not making it up. I'm really giving it a fair shake and figuring it out for myself because nobody else is doing this kind of work in perfume. Top heart, it's good. It's just an advertisement. I'm not doing an advertisement here. I'm doing a full review of stuff I'd spend my own money on. This, I, I want the three to four hour fragrance without that. I care less about the next three to four hours of what's left on my skin. Overall, the perfumer really chose ingredients to complement an expensive luxury, only rare v vanilla perfume C. The Madagascar in here is out of this world. And she chose them really well. Cre I mean, she provided that creamy top. Um, name of the fragrance is vanilla. You're going to get that in the top part and base. I'm going to give her special kudos for this. I think this is a winner for a lot of vanilla fans. So just take my synthetic little coverage, a little bit of rant, but all truth and fact. And um, I think you'll still love it for what she accomplishes here. She hits all many facets of vanilla of what it does in perfume. It's called vanilla. She hits it in the top heart and base. The top, the vanilla is creamy, um, just a little bit airy, mixes in with that creamed orange perfectly. In the heart, you get the florals. It densens up with those florals a bit, still a bit aromatic. And in the dry down, you just get that sweet, sticky resin as a vanilla that um, you, know, you get in your cooking vanilla resin. And um, it is a base layer uh, traditionally in perfumery, but she uses a top heart and base and uses all facets of vanilla for that. For that brilliant work, kudos to the perfumer. It's a true vanilla lover's dream that provides nostalgia in a bottle. Memories will be made from this. It's a memory locker kind of fume fragrance composition put together. Definitely a cuddle bucket of love waiting to snug you to sleep, just saying. So overall, I mean, I, I was a little too rough on the dry down for what it is. It's a, it, it really is a good vanilla perfume that I wish did not, it does not need to rely on whatever the final dry down was. It doesn't need to stand on its own. I believe Mona Dior is not with us anymore. Um, that's uh, what was passed on to me. I'm just learning the house and her, um, a hero of the community, from what I can tell, what I know, many people have asked me to try her stuff because of the high-end raw naturals, and um, that's what I'm doing. RIP to her, best of uh, respect to her family, and, and those continuing on her legacy and her perfume house. All about positive criticism, making perfume better from hair therapeutic fragrance. All right, scoring vanilla, Le Nombre is Dior. Experience overall is 12 out of 15. Um, branding originality, five out of five. Projection sillage, three out of five. Longevity is a uh, four out of five. Composition as a whole is 15 out of 20. Uh, ingredients and price to ML is a 22 out of 25. Top gets a... 10 out of 10, heart gets a four out of five, and the base gets a six out of 10. Total score of 82. Definitely split a bottle with somebody, decant it, get it on deep discount. That's where I'm at. Without that dry down, I'm being really picky here. This would have broke a 90 uh, easily. I'm, I'm literally telling them to take ingredients out, and this would have broken a 90. That's how perfect and beautiful that Madagascar and vanilla was. And the transitions, brilliant, brilliant transitions from, from a creamy citrus, which is new, usually bright and zesty from bottle, 
barely the last of my skin, but turning it creamy right there. So there's two transitions right there, but real quick. And then into the whole floral transition. Into, I mean, you get fruits and then you go into florals and then you get a smokiness rising. Transitions were like a boss. This is perfection. This is um, mastery and perfumery, the transitions that happened in this. I want to make that clear on this perfume uh, with the review. And, and, and where I scored it low, I want you guys to be, because a lot of you guys like this dry down. So don't, if you like it, get your hands a sample on it. Literally, if they took it out, it would be in my collection worthy. Just, this could easily be someone's signature fragrance. My mom's worn the same vanilla perfume last 20 years. I could see someone making this their signature and just sticking to it forever. For me, new category, nap time fragrance for me. Um, all year I nap, but this is especially a colder, wet weather, snuggle up, fire kind of fragrance you want to be with. Who do I see wearing this one? Trisha Yearwood. How about that? Going country. First time. How many sprays? One to seven. Depends how much cuddle time you want or how much projection you want. You are going to have a long, it's over a six hour wearing. You're going to have, for me, I did get a two foot bubble. I mean, I smelt this stuff on my skin really well. Um, I'd say others smell it in the room, medium tell, which is a good thing. It's like, it's a gourmand. People love smelling that sweet vanilla, bakeries, whatnot. Not offensive at all. And you're going to make people happy with it. It's a happy perfume. <sighs> love that you're here. You and yours be safe. Be at peace. Stay positive and always be blessed.